Hi, my name's Neil Tappin. I'm Golf Monthly's Deputy Editor. Um, we're getting to that time of year now where many of the equipment manufacturers are looking to launch new golf clubs. Ping is one of those, and uh, Ping have got a new uh, Rapture V2 driver uh, that's just come out that will um, get a lot of our pulses racing. Um, I'm joined here by John K. Solheim, who's the Vice uh, President of Engineering for Ping. And um, John, can you just talk us through a little bit about the technology at work in the driver? Sure. So the driver, um, basically two materials at work here. You've got a titanium head. There's actually two pieces of titanium. The body is a casting, and then we have a machine plate here. So we actually vary, uh, there's a variable thickness to that titanium face, and then it's robotically plasma welded in place. And what we've added to the Rapture V2 is the tungsten weights on the uh, heel and toe in the back here. So they lower the CG, they move the CG back, and they raise the MOI. So that's the MOI is going to make the golf club more forgiving, um, give you more stable ball speed on uh, multiple shots. The ball speed is going to stay up there for you. Uh, the CG being low is going to lower the spin, and that's one of the biggest improvements we've seen with the Rapture V2. It's a very low spin driver, okay. which uh, yields longer golf shots as well. And moving it back helps improve the launch angle. So most golfers, in order to pick up distance, what they need to do is increase their launch angle and lower their spin and the Rapture V2 is designed to do exactly that. Okay, and it's quite a, it's a, it's a very traditional looking shape actually, head shape. Uh, did you try out any um, sort of slightly different designs, any different shapes and, uh, and sort of reject those in, term, in favor of the more traditional? Yeah, we definitely did. Driver design, it's a big balancing act. So we could have, you know, focused totally on MOI and more been guided to a more square type configurations. But when you do that, you really give up a lot of the other play, playing characteristics of the driver. So a high MOI driver, yeah, it might improve forgiveness, but you're going to lose ball speed. You're going to lose um, distance as well, and it might be even harder to hit straight as well. So uh, we try to balance all that. We try to make a driver that works the best for mo for all golfers, and that's how we came up with the head shape we okay. did. Okay. And, John, will you um, get into the, uh, the tour guys playing the driver, or is this a sort of amateur-specific uh, no, driver? We, We've actually already got tour guys playing the driver. So really, uh, through the fitting options, the different lofts, the different shafts that we have available, we feel very confident that the v Rapture V2 will fit in the drivers at the highest caliber as well as uh, you know, just the average weekend golfer as well. Okay, okay well, there, there we have it. Uh, time now to go down to the range and see how well it performs. Right, so the King Rapture V2 driver. Uh, just had a good hit with it on the range here at Wentworth. And um, the first thing to note, I think, is the head shape. Uh, sitting behind the ball, it doesn't feel too big. It's not a sort of cumbersome driver. Um, it looks very classic behind the ball, and I think that will appeal to a, a lot of the better players out there. Uh, it is, uh, as it promises to be, very, very forgiving. But the um, thing I would uh, notice most about this was probably the noise and impact. It's not too loud, and it's not too muted. It's a kind of a nice balance between the two. Um, and I think that contributes to what I felt was a powerful feel from this particular golf club. Um, the ball flight that I was getting was controlled, it wasn't too high and that's something that I suffer with. So uh, for me that was a real plus. Um, you'll be able to read more about the uh, Ping Rapture V2 driver in the November issue of Golf Monthly. Uh, but until then, uh, it's goodbye from here on the range at Whitworth.